thank you for joining me. I'm down the end of the platform at Cromer Station. In today's video, we're going to go and find the only standard gauge railway tunnel in Norfolk, and we're going to have a look at some of the stations of Cromer, past and present. So we're currently at the town's second station, which quite nicely the signal box survives. There's a little museum there of signalling. They've changed the turn the signals so they're perpendicular to the railway, just not to confuse any drivers from today's colour light. So that way is looking towards Sheringham and Norwich. Just up there you can turn left for Norwich and go straight on for Sheringham. So this station was originally called Cromer Beach Station. The reason being is, well, one, it's nearer the beach, and two, it was the town's second station. It opened on the 16th of June, 1887. The other station, Cromer High, which we're gonna go and probably not see much of, but go and have a look at the site of, was the town's first station. And then, and that would have been off the line from Norwich. So as I came on the train just now from Norwich, I went past the site of the junction. There's not much to see from the train's window, but we're gonna wander up there. But more excitingly, there was a, a line built from over from Mundersley to Cromer and that went through a tunnel under that railway. So that has it's been the only ever standard gauge railway tunnel in Norfolk. But it's not the only one because I'll get onto that later. There is another railway tunnel currently in Norfolk. We're not going to go there today, but I'll talk about it later. We're just going to make our way off the end of, of this station. So although it appears as a terminus station, it is actually not quite the end of the line for the trains. The trains come in and out. If they're going to Sheringham, they then go out again and continue to Sheringham. And occasionally, the North Norfolk Railway at Sheringham, which is, whose station is across the road from the main line station, sometimes runs trains onto this line. So you can actually occasionally get a steam train down here. So we get to the end. We've very much come to, as I say, it looks like the end of the line, but technically it's not the end of the line for trains. They continue. We leave the station. Well, this was the old station hotel. It looks like it's boarded up now. It's a bit of a shame. Um, we're going to head off through the town and have a look around. I said, to make my way uphill to find the site of the old Chroma High Station. Well, I've now been walking for the past 20 minutes or so up a hill. People who say Norfolk is flat possibly don't know too much about Norfolk because there's hills everywhere in Norfolk. They're just not the same sort of altitude you'd find in other parts of the UK. Now, the station we're looking for is Chroma High, and that's appropriate because we've been coming up high. I believe it was up there. There's not a great deal to see, but if you look at this path, well, first you've got a post here made out of an old railway sleeper, and um, there is an old bit of rail. That path doesn't appear to go anywhere, so I think what we'll do, we'll continue to follow the road, and we'll have a look at Cromer High. So Cromer High was the first railway station to reach the town. A bit inconvenient from the town centre, because I said 15 minute, 20 minute walk, well, 15 minute downhill, 20 minute uphill from the town centre. So, um, yeah, it wasn't perfect but it opened in 1877 but then it closed to passengers in 1954 and then eventually closed to goods in 1960. Now here is a clue. If we have a look ahead of us across the road we can see better bridge abutments on both sides. So a bit of a skewed bridge. Imagine the trains like a B1 pulling out the station with a few carriages heading either towards Norwich or Mundersley. So this is where it have come over over us here and then I'm just like right beside the abutment here if I can get to the other side of the road we have to have a look as to where it went let's get across again so that is the old bridge abutments just there of the line now the line would have continued in that direction and it was what happened when the line later the um, Norfolk and Suffolk line they opened their railway to Cromer and they had to cross this line so they went under it so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to walk along around here and um, I'm going to try and see if there's anything where Chroma High was. It's getting windy here, Chroma High. Um, I last heard there was literally nothing there. There's some cottages, so the railway line would have gone behind these cottages. And then just up here, I think half the site's been built off. The other half of the site is just complete waste ground. Let's have a look, see if we can see. I think it's going to be behind this hedge, so whether we're going to be able to see anything. So there's not really much of Cromer High left, but the exciting bit is the tunnel that we're going to go and look for next. So yeah, let's hope this hedge ends. It does. Uh, yeah, here we are. Just up here. So that would also take me back down to Cromer Town Centre. And here we go. Really nothing to see, but just for the point of the video, that. It's the site of Cromer High Station. 
I'm going to head that back that way towards those bridge abutments and from there we're going to sort of follow the old line we're going to go and find the tunnel. So I've come back to this road corner again just over there was the skew bridge the railway line would have gone off behind here and as I said the station would have been just over there I think you'd have access the station for going down here because if you look here we have station road this could confuse people now because if they were looking for the current Cromer railway station and went to station road they wouldn't find any trains the best they might find is a bus to take them there so the railway line from Cromer High that very first railway to reach the town would have run behind us. It's not really much of a path. I'm going to shout now because it's getting really windy. But it's what went under this line that we're interested in. It was the line from Mundersley. Railway bridge. And this is where that tunnel should be. So we can see it's clearly in a cutting going by the railway bridge. But what we're hoping to do is have a look at the tunnel. So this is a modern bridge. It should be. Yeah, there we go. Just there is the Cromer Tunnel. A moment ago, I was just up there, pretty guessing what I've done, come down. That's the road bridge, and there, in all its glory in front of us, is the only standard gauge railway tunnel in Norfolk. Now, the title of the video, there's only ever been one railway tunnel in Norfolk. It's sort of true and it isn't. This is the only ever standard gauge railway tunnel in Norfolk which as I walk into it's nice and cool by the way I just walked down the side there there's nothing saying don't come down here so here we are we're inside the only standard gauge railway tunnel in Norfolk but I said it's not the only one because there was also there's the Bure Valley Railway which I have visited in the past now have a look at the link on screen now that's one of my archive videos that's when I visited the railway back in 2003 and I passed through a tunnel now that tunnel is clearly shown, but that's a modern tunnel. When that Bure Valley Railway was a standard gauge railway, there was no tunnel. It was when the line was rebuilt as a narrow gauge line, the Elsham Bypass was built, and rather than have a level crossing, they built a tunnel. So that's the other tunnel. But this is the only ever purpose, well, it is purpose built as well, but you know what I mean, the only ever mainline tunnel has ever been in Norfolk. And here I am. I mean, it, it's quite exciting. Got to place myself. It's a bit sort of rubbish at this end. So that way is looking towards Mandersley, and um, I'm now going to have to make my way back through the tunnel, back up to the road, and we'll go and try and get as close as we can to the junction with this line to where it joins the current line at Rowton Road. So this is the line to Mundersley. It was the last line to be built to reach the town. It opened as late as 1906, but it closed in 1953. There was a line from North Horsham to Mundersley, and then this was like an extension onwards, but then this closed, and then Mundersley back to North Horsham closed. But had it stayed open, trains could have potentially come this way and served Mundersley. And yes, it meant the line via Gunton could have closed. It would be a longer route, but the bigger town of Mundersley would have had a railway. But anyway, it hasn't. And here we are exploring the only railway, only standard gauge railway tunnel in Norfolk. I'm going to head back through the tunnel now, and we're going to go and find the junction with the existing standard gauge railway. I always wanted to do this, standing in one of these alcoves, just in case like a ghost train or something comes along. I don't think that's going to happen though. There's a couple of things just here now. Do you see these posts? These would have carried the signalling wires through the tunnel, which is quite unusual, or certainly some form of line side cabling, because there was a junction. Oh, it's all gone bright, but that way, a quarter of a mile, there was a junction. So it must have carried. I, my guess would be, maybe getting in that alcove difficult, because you'd basically have trip wires, I reckon they would have carried wires, the signalling, tensioning wires, to the, um, to possibly the distant signal for the junction. There was also another halt that way, but that's um, a video for another day. Perhaps one day we'll try and explore the old railway towards Mundersley, back to North Orsham, but today I'm just exploring Cromer. So, we're coming back to this end. You can see the foot, we will be able to see, the lights playing funny games with us. We come out here, you'll be able to see the footbridge. It's very sandy down here. I've got to now climb back up the side of the cutting. Sun's in the wrong place at the moment. Let's get out here. So, yeah, there we go. That's the footbridge where I was a moment ago. That's the road bridge. So I'm going to continue that way. And as I say, there's, there's, it's all now blocked by houses. There's a housing estate. We'll walk through that housing estate and I'll show you where the railway went. Then we're going to go to the most modern station in Cromer, Routon Road. But before, let's have one last look at the tunnel.
So after all that fun of messing around in the tunnel, this part of the video probably doesn't look anything like as exciting. I'm just walking through a fairly normal looking housing estate, but it was through this housing estate which the railway line would have run. It would have run along the back of these houses. So these houses here have the garden. Their garden is part of the old railway. I'm gonna head that way. I'm gonna briefly detour up here, the ridgeway to have a look at the track bed. So see where that fence is, straight across there, there wouldn't have been a level crossing because I don't think this estate would have been here. Certainly not that part of the estate because they look nearer. So if I stand here, yeah, I can see the bridge would have been directly that way. I can recognise the trees on the other side of the tunnel and the railway would have continued that way. So not really, not very obvious that this was an old railway. And a moment ago, I just heard a train on the current Norwich to Sheringham line. So what we'll do, we'll, we know we're close. So I'm going to head that way, up to those woods, and that's where we'll have a look for the site of Routon Road Junction. Well, I've come out of the housing estate, and you see I've come into some woodland, just about coming to the end of the bluebell season. As for this railway, we've got a bit more evidence, um, a bit more obvious than it was in the housing estate. See here, there's clearly a fence, um, and this is the trap bed. Now over there is a sign saying do not trespass on the railway. I'm not going to go beyond this fence just because I'm not entirely sure where network rail's boundary, whether it's there or here. So we won't go beyond this fence. But if you look that way through, that's heading back towards the tunnel. You can clearly, see, I'm getting caught in the barbed wire. I haven't even crossed the fence. Clearly see the depression in the ground. And then just over there, it's hard to show you, but just over there where it's really bright, that's where the network rail line is. The train went past now. We'd, we'd certainly see it. So if we just follow the edge of this fence what we can. This is Routon Road Junction, or the site of Routon Road Junction, that it ceased to be a junction in 1953. If we get through to here, I'm just trying to find somewhere a bit more obvious, um, but without obviously trespassing. Yeah, so you can quite clearly see the track beds there. So where those those houses over there, there is some more houses, they're on the other side of the current network rail line. So the junction would have been here, there's probably a signal box here, everything but this junction ceased to be a junction in 1953 Routon Road Junction closed but the name Routon Road did reappear as we shall make our way out these woods and we'll go and find what Routon Road means today I've just found another better view of Routon Road Junction see the line just there going towards Norwich that way I've gone straight on towards the tunnel over there is railway station Let's go and have a look at that now. That was a rather pleasant walk through the woods. As I come down to a little lane here, there's a rather ornate looking railway bridge on the line. It goes to um, Sheringham and down to Cromer. So have a look there. That's the railway bridge. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go under that railway bridge and I can be a bit lazy now. I don't actually have to walk about a mile away from Cromer Town Centre. I said about the name Routon Road reappearing. Well, they opened the station here in 1985. So Cromer had two stations again. So this is Routon Road. I've never been to this station before. So let's go and discover this station. There's a map there. And that's, I could have done with this map. Um, because what I had to do was I basically drew my own map. We'll have a look at that when we get on the platform. So we're there. You can see that's the line over towards Mundersley. Cromer High would have been there. It's a very blank space in the map. That's site like Cromer High Station. So, as you can see, Ralph and Rose Station's there. Cromer Town Centre's there. But the railway goes all the way around here. That way goes to Sheringham. There was also once a direct side of a, a triangle there. Um, not going to do that in today's video. It'd be great if they relayed that. It would mean they could run full length rail tours to the North Norfolk Railway. Occasionally rail tours do run to the North Norfolk Railway, but due to the length of the um, station at Cromer, they can't be more than a certain amount of carriages. So you can't get the sort of 12 coach usual length of, of a rail tour you normally get. So that's why uh, they don't rarely, that's why rarely they run rail tours up here. So here we are, we are now coming up to um, Alton Road Station. Train to Norwich that way, which I'll have to do later, but I'm going to go that way to West Rumpton and Sheringham, just because I can really. So it's a small little station, and also if we go to the end of the platform, we should be able to see a better view of Routon Road Junction. So it's quite nice, we've heard a junction name 
disappeared in 1953, the Lane Nelson Road came back. So a moment ago, we were kind of over there. These woods are all public. If, so if you ever came to Crober, if you fancied a little bit of a walk and a bit of fun, you could actually get out here and walk the way I did, or the other way around. So I'll be catching a class 755. I've done a few videos of them in the past. Um, so do have a look at the screen now to be able to see that. As soon as we're here, let's just have a quick look at this little map I drew so you can basically see everything. So I've drawn out all the railways past and present. I'm going to sit here now, wait for my train back down to Cromer Town Centre. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from the newest railway station in Cromer, Routon Road, goodbye.